Hi, how are you? Today, we are going to look into classes in C++. What is a class? A class is a collection of fixed number of components. So now, if we talk about class, class is basically written or typed before the main body. So basically, if you look, okay, we have the main body. So our class comes here. Let's start, for example, a general example of class. Let me show you. First, let's type class. Then, let's give a name to this class. Class identifier. Then, you open the curly bracket, and then you close the curly bracket, and you will need to end it with a semicolon. So, basically, this actually makes up an entire class. So, if you see this, this makes up the entire class that we are actually talking about in this um, tutorial. So, and inside the class body, we have the class member list. And this class member list contains variables, functions, and other parameters, sorry parameters which can form an entire functioning or working program. Let's look into a real situation of a class body. Let's take it this way. Remember, the class has to be before the main body. Let's take this off. Let's say, class, my first class. Open the curly bracket. Close the curly bracket and end it with a semicolon. Okay, so this is where we are going to add all our functions, variables, and more. And this is the body of your class. And this is the main body. Okay, and this is the first class that you have created so far. Let's look into something called access specifier. What is an access specifier? Access specifier, okay, as we call it, access specifier is basically made up of private, protected, and public. If you want to use private, it is possible. If you are not planning to let any of the variables or functions that is inside my first class to be shared outside in the main body. But if you are using the public access specifier, you can actually share it anywhere. You can use it in the main body you can open another class and share it with that body so now what we are going to do is we are going to use public access specifier with a semicolon okay once we have used the public with us with a colon sorry it's not a semicolon it's colon uh, access specifier based on this, whatever you use after this can be 
used outside my first class class okay let's begin with a simple function void and i'm going to call this cool same so we open a curly bracket and we are going to print out so we're going to use c out and then we're going to write let's say talking about classes in c plus plus and we close it and then we end it okay and then we close it with a curly bracket okay so we have the class declaration called my first class we have a public access specifier let's add a command telling it's a access specifier this command will not appear in your program uh, when it is being run and then we have a function which basically prints and now we have an entire class, my first class, ready to be expanded into the main body. So that's all for now. We will be looking into object for our next tutorial. That's all for now. Thank you. Bye.